and an overview of what we're going to be doing in this chapter, starting with the Lascaux people and moving through several ancient civilizations all the way up through the Roman Empire. Now that's a really vast expense of time. That's, uh, that's from 30,000 BC all the way up to around 600 AD. Thousands of years. However, what you'll find is that aside from the Lascaux people and similar cave peoples and their art, that are dated to around 30,000 to 15,000 years ago. Most of what we're going to talk about starts only a few thousand years before Christ with the ancient civilization of North Africa that left behind some art. Interesting civilization. It seems to have grown up in a time when the Sahara was much more verdant and green and uh, well watered than it is today. So we see even in the last expanse of perhaps 10,000 years some climate change that's occurred on Earth. Now we're facing more climate change as a result of the kind of things that people have done for the last 150 years. But that's another topic for another time. So that's a little bit of an overview of the time period we're going to cover. Now let's talk about in general what the goals and objectives are of this course. One of the main goals is to get you familiar with the kinds of technologies that were used by people throughout history to create art. All the way from ancient times when people rubbed colored materials on walls, perhaps making them stick with animal fat as a binder, all the way up to the present time when we're using computers to generate art and computers to capture all sorts of multimedia things like this video. So we'll talk about during that period of time how light works, what light is, how it gives objects color, how our eyes actually deal with what, it's, what they're receiving as far as this electromagnetic radiation that gives our brains the sensation of color. We'll talk about how those same sensations are replicated by devices that can reproduce various colors and have the mix in our eyes to produce many more colors. So we'll be talking about that kind of technology, but we'll also be talking about what people use these technologies for that is the kinds of artworks and visual objects they created and we'll also talk about why what purpose did they have in mind when they created these things it would be incorrect to think that people in ancient times created these objects so we could hang them on the walls of museums and look at them out of context all these civilizations that created artworks had something in mind for them different civilizations had different things in mind that's part of what you're going to be learning about from the Gombrich textbook and from some of the writings I've put here in the workbook. So that's another goal, learning the perspective of these people, the civilizations that we're studying. More specifically, what is it that I hope that you learn from each one of these units is very well stated in detail in the unit summary forms. There is at the back of this unit and all the other units a worksheet for that summary form. The worksheet is intended to help you take notes, yes, with an old-fashioned pencil and paper, as you read the textbook, as you view my lecture videos on the textbook, as you view the supplementary videos, and as you read the material that I've put here in this workbook. That's a lot of different sources of information. You really need a place to draw that together and to capture the highlights, and that's why I'm providing the worksheets for the unit summary forms. Now, you don't turn those worksheets in in handwritten form. What you do is you consolidate all your notes and scratchings on that worksheet into an electronic form of that that you can download. And the short exercises are labeled quizzes, unfortunately. They're not quizzes. They are repeatable exercises that are intended to help you learn the material. They're a learning tool. Don't leave the exercise to the end of the unit and attempt to do it at that time, one time. That's a recipe for frustration. I also provide worksheets in this workbook for you to answer, that is to check mark the true statements in the exercises and to use those as notes. So read through when you get to that part of the unit, read through my advice on how to do the exercises so that you do them productively. There are some videos that are productions not by me but by other people who've made them available for your learning purposes. And I think those spice up the course and they make things much more interesting. You're in for a different educational experience here. It's my intent to make it as easy as possible for you to get to the web resources anytime you want to and to make sure those web resources are also valuable for your learning. 
If you encounter something where you cannot get to a web resource, let me know as soon as possible and I'll fix it very quickly. The links in this workbook are intended never to go out of date. They should always work. Take a look at the next page and let me know if you have any questions.